Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. We are officially on day three of the Springfield Spring Antique Extravaganza. Now, you guys got two videos out of the first day, the preview day, which was a beautiful day. It was so easy to shop, loved it. Day two, I did come back, which was Friday. It was pouring. It's a hot, muddy mess. I didn't film. We are back on day three. We now are in pretty heavy traffic. We think a lot of it has to do with the fact that the fields were so muddy that so many people were getting caught in the fields. Um, I mean, the, the ruts were like at least a foot deep. <laughs> so it looks like they're having to uh, figure out different ways in which to park. So. We're in a pretty substantial line, but we're going to get in there. Um, I did say this. I brought this up last night. So we paid for VIP parking. Or no, we paid for VIP for early access. Mm -hmm. I feel, in my opinion, that I want VIP parking through the entire event. There should be an entrance dedicated for VIP. You can only get in this line if you have the bracelets. You only park in the parking lot if you have the bracelets. I think that's incredibly fair. It's an opportunity for them to make more money. It's an, I know. Happen. And it should be prime parking, frankly. Mm -hmm. Because if you've got people that are willing to pay extra to get in early, those are your, mm -hmm. you know, Food for thought, I think it would be incredibly smart to do that. It's an easy thing to figure out for September. Just saying. They have an entrance. There's an entrance! Yay! <laughs> Actually, three lines. One, two, and three. So they're definitely running this faster. I wondered how we were able to get through so quickly. I think most people have probably paid by now, though. So. But they got the sheriff out here. Lord, okay. These poor residential people are probably like, get the hell out of the way. Oh no, they had to wait in that line just to get to their house. Mm -hmm. Bless. All right, so we're actually out here where the vendors keep their RVs, which isn't that bad because the flea market's right there. So. So, oh, look at that old, look at that camper right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that is too stinking cute. Ah, that ain't nothing. This is nothing compared to what that main field is probably looking like. This is why I typically don't come on Fridays and Saturdays. Though the parking's much nicer out here. We're like right in. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, oh God, look at the here. line. No, I'll just cross my legs. Gosh, this is so much better. There's actually a road. There's some sitting water, which is a fraction of what it was yesterday. This part was really bad. <laughs> You're not looking for anything today, are you? <laughs> Stuff for you to sell. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Going. <laughs> what did he, how many times have you uttered the phrase, boy, I wish I was in Ohio? Yeah. I bet there's a lot of folks out there right now wishing they were in Ohio. Like, well, really not wanting to buy <laughs> I am very superstitious. It's pretty consistent on the channel. Like I don't look. There's this right there. So you've got a reseller who bought pallets of returned Amazon merchandise, who then elected to bring it to the extravaganza to sell it. You don't know what you're buying. Look at those legs. What do you think that would have went to? A piano? Okay.
Um, How do you feel about that? What do you think? Is it a snail? Is it an alien? It is 15. I do like the colors they used, but it's a bit odd. This is far improved over what happened yesterday. <laughs> you want to go in? You want to go in? Let's do it. That's up to you. Might as well. That's what we're here for. 45. Snowcrest. It is pretty. I like that one. Hair. Empty. Inexpensive. Probably India. Very thin. Crystal? Yeah, really heavy. Hmm? Eight dollars. How much nicer is that than what you get at the grocery store? Much. That thin, disposable throwaway. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. <coughs> Got it? <coughs> yeah, that looks beastie. Oh, Over right, here's a sticker. Canadian? Rossi Glass. Yep. They're the ones, remember, it was, uh, they make a lot of the baskets with the faces on the side. So it's a contemporary Canadian company that very much loves to work in cranberry glasses doing um, traditional Victorian. So you've got a lot of baskets. You've got jack and pulpits that they will make. I mean, I think it's fair. It's a nice piece of glass. Hey, check out what we just got. It's a piece of Weller and the Woodcraft. Look at that. It is a wood pocket. It is stamped. We don't have any chips or cracks, and we got it for just $30. Love it. All right, what'd you find, Bubba? These are the German, right? They are. The German metal deer? Yeah. Stags. Pootsie poots. This one's definitely got his horns. Oh, oh there's a medium. One, yeah. Oh, he's handsome. He is. And these are, like, it's actually like a soft lead. So a lot of times, especially the antlers, they come uh, they snapped off. and broken and legs and blah, 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 blah. Do you want to hold him? He said five each. Mm -hmm. Leather saddle soap. That's a nice thing. Oh, look at her. Ooh. It comes with the chain. Should I wear it? Chain it all. What is this? this? I don't think that's old. I really like her, but. Is that a real cigar or a chewing gum? I think that's a real one, though. <laughs> Oh yeah. Three dollars. With a little owl stick pen. These boxes actually are quite collectible. <laughs> Patent applied for Warner Buffalo. Back when Okay, well let's just double check. Okay, we'll go back to the front. Here's a spoon. Set of sewing, needle and thread. She's a great deco vibe. But look at the little tiny dart. What's Spartina. Spartina. I don't like the political buttons. They're just not as fun to me. Yes. 
Hey, that's cool. Those things can uh, they run a lot higher than five dollars too. These? Yeah. May I lift this? Sure. I tried to keep it lifted a while ago because of the uh, keep the sun from. I didn't know Anjamama was branded with. I know it seems high, but it's hard to get that. It's hard for me to get that. Um, What's that? Those marbles at 19 cents back in the day. This packaging isn't right. This is a reproduction. I can feel it. There's no way. At 19 cents, this shouldn't feel like this. This is glossy paper. <laughs> <laughs> Cat like reflexes. The marbles are cool, but that makes me a little hesitant on that. Then these are interesting. Hmm. Okay. Did you find another one? No. Did you go through you that? Were actually, Mark German. Did you go through that black bin there? Um, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Now, this little guy's kind of hungry. Well, he might have been the runt of the litter. I have people asking for marbles, but I want them to be really nice marbles. I want to take a peek, you. Ah, hold on. I love it. How much is it? People in your neighborhood. Why are you not focusing? You think? That's what that's for. It's a that's a plastic polish. It'll get rid of the fog. Yeah, it's just like a. You know, they do the same thing for the car headlights. They polish those with the, the plastic. Okay, let's. It's plastic polish. We'll have to see how much. How much is it? Okay, let's find out. Yeah. Okay. Got it for five. Look at that. He cleaned it up. How much nicer is that? What? This to me is a perfect example of the right wear. You know, some people would prefer that to be pristine. Not to say that I wouldn't mind it, but look at that. It is just so perfectly worn that just her face now this is silver plated and check out the interior with the purple velvet still intact obviously some wear to the interior i don't know if that one deserves to be polished maybe getting rid of this corrosion a light buff let's see what she could do on that one we'll see so she had 20, she went to 20, but I, you know, that's the thing with damage. Something like that is incredibly subjective. I don't mind it. I think at 20, that's fair, but you know, for selling it, I don't know. That's kind of questionable as to whether or not people would appraise it, not only appraise it, but appraise it more than $20. So I did have to leave it behind, but maybe somebody will come along, find her and love her, give her a new home. Yes, we've got some glass, we've got some cases. I mean, there's, oh, did you see the... $228. Tumblers. I think okay. it's Thank just, you. I'm just not feeling inspired by it. But I do love their booth over here, the very garden vibe to it. Pretty. Pretty to see, kind of like that shabby chic French country vibe going on. Uh oh. He's feeling a little ooh la la apparently. Oh. Two ninety five. That seems reasonable. It's not bad. It's got a little damage, but it's oh, old. look at all the deer in there. Here, I'm gonna trap. Just try not to kill myself here. Uh. Ooh, the bottle brush wreath. Ooh, it's warm in here. It, yeah. 
is what I saw. These blow mold deer. We'll see what else we can find. We're gonna head into the youth building. This is the Nashville show. Um, it, the same organizers, correct? Is that what they were saying? It's the same organizers of the Springfield antique uh, extravaganza here. They also do one in Nashville that is apparently far more elevated, which I think you're about to see. So there's, you know, the toys for the toy collector. And then you get into more of the elevated Furniture, large pieces. We've got, oh, look at that. Wait, that was here in September. Hi. <laughs> Again, not so flea markety, right? In here to check out a little closer look. See that one? Look at that. Yeah, my dog broke it. I think that's I'm going to be missing the dog. This is a reproduction. It was a, I know it's a, I got it in Tennessee. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. And a cool clock. Uh, lots of sparkle. In that southwest. A little Asian inspired in there. Ooh. We've got some braided hair. Oh, it's a bolo. What you see, Bob? Regina Wine Camp. Mandolin Orchestra. The Regina. $7.95. Does it open? It's hinged. Oh, ouch. Uh, and now it's a bar. Vaseline. All oh, the Vaseline. Is there a chimney that goes with it too? Uh oh. Party foul. Richard's actually standing by a pretty collectible piece. The gold deer here is a Jeru. That one's beautiful. Classic mid century. She's got 75 on it, which really isn't that bad, to be honest. Not what you see? So, um, I was looking at the lamps, like the mercury mm -hmm. glass. With the, I've never seen anything like that. She's got good stuff. I love to go up and look at This particular booth, <laughs> probably I found my most favorite thing ever at the extravaganza. It's, it's a Kistler half doll. I got for I got her and a book for $35, which is an extraordinary deal. So the booze, the merchandise, they're a little bit more elevated than what you're traditionally seeing. Now that said, you know the prices are going to be reflective of the items. There's a booth down here I think Richard's gonna love. We've got original oils. Only problem is that, oh, these are the Tiffany lamps that are going for like 30 grand. $11.50 for the figural lamp on the left with the bulbs. 
I mean, quite frankly, then we're probably sitting on a, we're sitting on a real good vacation to a foreign country, if that's what they're going for. But this particular one, 37.5, 33, one in the back corner, 35. We're almost to the one I think you'll really enjoy. Tiger? Hey, I'm learning. I told you to go. Back of your attention, please. Lisa Carr. Lisa Carr. Please come the office. Do what? This one's a child's, though. Yeah. Seven fifty. This is again tiger. Good, good bit of tiger. Tiger and cherry on the bottom. One point. That was all the rage. This doll is three hundred. I made a really good investment on mine, man. It is a human hair wig. Um, it's styled in a little boy. It's got a green velvet. I mean, between the wig and the outfit. You're at 300, and the doll's just a bonus. It's gonna be down here on the left. This is Saturday shopping. Like this would be, with all, look at that inlay. Little tea. Oh gosh, look at that one. A little piano. So, this is a salesman. Look at that one. That's really pretty. Ooh, what's this? Is this pearl? Yes. It's gorgeous. How are you doing, guys? Good. Good. Oh, look at this one. Bone this ivory. One. Yeah. What's underneath it? Oh, another lid. No, it's a compartment. That's cute. I don't, it, I don't know if it's a spice box. Did it say? No. No. Bloop. You like that? Oh, ooh. Very pretty. Well, you're going for gusto. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they're a amount of money. That's an uh, American one. So this, so the, these are English. English. This is mosaic. This is a lap desk. Right here. Um, that's a little tea caddy. Okay. What's nice oh, it is, is a one, tea. two, three, four, five, six, seven. That makes all the difference in the world on price. Okay. Oh boy, we're getting those sausage things. Because of the oval? Well, yeah, plus the shape. Okay. Shape is everything. Okay. Look at this one here behind you. Look at that little shape on that one. Oh, this one. Great. Yeah. I like this one. I do, too. You interested in any of them? They are beautiful. There's another one. This one's at six ninety five for this one. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. It even has the keyholes in it. <gasps> oh, this one is good. Yours is pretty equivalent. Yeah. Look at I've never seen. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh.
Oh, look at that one. Oh. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but he's adorable. Oh my gosh, this is only the second time ever that I have seen this done. I have one. It's much larger. I don't know if you can tell, but everything has been cut out. I do not like this frame. I can tell you that much. Look at that. It's a collage. Where'd he go? I don't like this frame at all. Mine's like twice as big. Oh my gosh, look at this little picture. That's adorable. I don't like the fact that it's sitting down here in water either. <laughs> Richard found a clock. I think we had this on the other day. Uh-oh, he's doing it? I'm setting it there. Uh, okay. I'm debating on this. They'll go to 70. I just, the frame, it's a 24 by 18. I have a huge one. I'm gonna think about it. I, this one, we saw the giant coral. It looks like it's gone, it was on that table. But this starfish is really, yeesh. So, Richard got the clock. I'm thinking about the, um, the collage. Because I have one, and it's huge. I just don't know that I need another one, you know? He spied something. Bloop, bloop. That's reproduction, yeah, it's, isn't yeah, it? It's not. But it's the style. Okay. All right, there we go. We're hot, we're tired. Action. Action! Um, so, this is going to be our last video of the Springfield extravaganza. Um, I don't know if the mud is better or this heat is. I guess uh, it warmed up nice. It sure did. Is this last day here? No. Um, so, we hope you guys enjoyed shopping with us as always. Look forward to the next video. It was a good extravaganza, though there is still Sunday that's left. Bye guys. Do you want to say bye? Oh, bye. <laughs>